What's up, tipsies? This is Twyla's Tipsy Travels, and this is a new installment of The Bachelorette Round, Brown, and Abroad Edition. I just got out of the shower. <laughs> I'm a little overheated and you know I'm, I'm at that stage of life where I'm starting to get overheated um, so anyway yes yeah, so this is you know bachelorette round brown and brown so this is about reunions reuniting with tin man reuniting <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, so basically he invited me to come to Edinburgh, hang out, and then to a party. And uh, so come on Friday, hang out, stay the night, then go to a party on Saturday. And so that's what it did. And I swear, coming into the into the um, train station and then walking out come and coming up to street level right onto Prince's Street and it's like ah, I know this place and then um, he was in the process of getting a, a camper van for the um, for the party um, and so like he didn't he couldn't come and get me and then plus at the train station, it's very awkward for anyone to actually pull up and pick you up. It's like an extraordinarily busy street. There is no picking up of anyone. So um, I knew where to go. I had my one bag. And so I just went on, moseyed on down. It's like, uh, I know where I'm going. Like in Glasgow, I still like don't fully know where I'm going. And so it, it was, it just felt nice to be back in Edinburgh where I, I, I know my surroundings. Um, and I just love that city. So, um, we, you know, we met and, uh, it was like time had not passed. Like it hasn't been three years or nearly three years since we've seen each other. And, um, and you know, just gabbing, talking, whatever. And then, you know, he kind of, he was supposed to cook for me, but then he kind of wasn't in the mood. And so... He's just like, let's go up and get something to eat. And so we went and got some uh, some drinks and some food. And then the table next to us, they were like really cool Scots. And uh, we ended up like chit-chatting with them part, part of the time, laughing or whatever. Um, they were a bunch of coworkers uh, who the guys were trying to help set up um, their single girl co-worker and it was just really funny um and you know and it was it was good times reuniting and um and then the next day uh we got ourselves together to go to this party that was out in the country um and he An ex um, friend of his, well, not ex friend, ex girlfriend, ex lover, ex whatever. <laughs> She's also polyamorous, um, but they're, you know, they're still friends. She invited him to this party and then she brought like her men friend and, um, and then we all, and we picked them up and went to this party and um, I really, the party was a good time, completely random. I cannot say more <laughs> about that. Um, I will say her man friend, I like have a baby crush on him and I, like I can never see you again. <laughs> I can never see you again. Cause if I see you, I am, yeah, I'm gonna be like, oh. He was Irish and he had a mohawk and it was um, pastel colored. 
he, he had bleached it blonde and then it's uh, has it's pastel colors, uh, rainbow colors in his hair. And uh, he had on a black mesh shirt with a kilt on with it. And then had guy liner. And he had a really, 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 really pretty lips. Like, I was like, those are really pretty lips. But anyway, he was just really cute and really sweet. Like, oh my God, just a overall sweet person. But he's also poly and has like a partner, like, like full-time, long-term partner, but also, you know, he, that open relationship, polyamorous relationship or whatever, so I don't know if his partner plays or his partner just allows him to play, but yeah, and so, uh, I, I'm like, look, there, I could, I could do poly up to a point if I just like, I like you, I like you, I, you know, I dig you a lot, but I'm not in love with you, but like, I like you and I have a connection with you enough to like, do some things, but not, but I don't love you, I'm not in love with you, you know what I mean? If it's like that, sure, I don't mind sharing, whatever, but, <laughs> The minute I am like in love with you, we, mm -mm, we're not sharing. We're not sharing. It's just monogamous. <laughs> monogamous. Like, I just don't think I could do it. I really don't think I could share someone that I was deeply in love with. But then again, relationships change over time, sometimes. Like, you know, you kind of get tired of each other in a way. Maybe you might want to spice things up. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, you know, if I get in a serious relationship with someone and down the line, we want to bring it up, we want to broach the subject, then maybe we can talk about it. And I'm down to talk about it, but, um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can do it. So anyway, I could, this guy, this is the type of guy I would fall for. Absolutely. And so, like, mm, I, I probably should never see you again. <laughs> never, ever because I will be head over heels in love with you because you are a sweetie pie and adorable. Um, so, yeah. But, um, but I did realize over the weekend why Tin Man and I could not be in a serious relationship. Because while he's poly, he still has been in like, some relatively serious relationships like you know long term and I don't think I could do long term with him um, like when we're around each other for too long I think we irritate each other I feel like I'm a nuisance to him and then like I don't know and, and I feel like maybe he might get a little snarky and so he irritates me and so I just think mm -mm, no no, like it's good as friends, friends that, you know, might have benefits, but yeah, I can't, I am okay with it not being long-term, but, um, but yeah, uh, more wonderful friend and, and thoughtful in so many ways, I, I could not beat that with him, um, like he even offered to let me use his, his place as a uh, as a sort of storage if I can if I'm able to continue a full-time nomadic life that I could uh, like here's my winter clothes ship it to you because I'm going to a summery place and then uh, okay I'm coming back through and I'm going to a cold place I'm gonna send you my summer stuff here's some money to send me my winter stuff you know like that and so um, so I was just like, oh, that would be so amazing if you really could do that. So, uh, so yeah, he's he's still a sweetheart. I just know we're not compatible at all for long-term relationship. Um, but uh, and oh boy, he snores. 
he saw some logs. I did not sleep well at all for two days. I'm surprised I was able to make it. <laughs> and man, I slept so hard last night. I went to bed at, okay, so I did, I thought I would fall asleep earlier, but I was chatting with somebody and it and it ran on and I didn't end up falling asleep to, or getting off the phone until like 11.30, closer to 12. I slept till nine or almost, it was eight something. I don't normally sleep that long. I was out. <laughs> I was so tired. But um, anyway, on off with that. Um, now, right now, I'm talking, chatting with two guys that I matched with. Um, one looks like he could be brothers with the guy that I used as my muse for the book His Muse. Um, like, he's got long, curly hair, really pretty, and it's like sun-kissed, um, and he's got that, like, it's so hard to describe, but you, but you know what I mean, like, that swashbuckling, like, I'm a, I'm a three mus, one of the three musketeers type, like, mustache, goatee, or not mustache, bearded goatee situation, like, where the, the mustache doesn't connect with the beard, and then it's got the little thing right there, like, you know what I mean? I know you guys know what I mean, um, but he has that, and, and he's just really handsome, like a really handsome guy. And, uh, oh, his accent, Lord, Lord. It's like good, classic Scottish accent that like, there was a few words I was like, hmm, come again, what'd you say? <laughs> what'd you say? But, uh, cause we sent each other voice messages cause he wanted to hear my voice and I wanted to hear his. So, uh, yeah, but he lives far away we matched when I was in Edinburgh, which speaking of, if I forgot to mention that, when I got into Edinburgh, like my location changed on Tinder. And so it was like ping, 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 ping. I had, at by the end I had like over 60 new, uh, new swipes that guys had swiped right on me when I was there. I'm like, Jesus. And then I was thinking, where were y'all three years ago? I'm like, did COVID ruin y'all's relationships? <laughs> so now you're all free again? I don't know. But, um, so yeah, so he, we matched when I, I was there and he was still probably about a good 20 something miles away. And it's weird because like it's almost, I don't want to say it's like a peninsula, but to even get to him, unless you took a boat across, you'd have to actually go this way from Edinburgh over to here, then up and around because it's like water right in between there. Um, and he's a lobsterman, which is crazy because I wrote about a lobsterman in my last book, Bound Through Time, Pat, or Bound Through Time Present. And so I'm like, oh, what? So, uh, and he just, he seems really, really nice. And so we'll see what happens. He said he might come out to see me, which that's a decent trip to come out and see me. Um, uh, so we'll see. And then another guy that I match with who is massive, massive. his um, profile picture, his first one is of him holding three grown men. One on this arm, one on this arm, and one like straddling the back of his neck. And he's holding them up like this. And I go, well, that's like, you know, the big girl in me is like, yeah, he's big enough to pick up three dudes, grown men, he can pick me up. So I'm like, yeah, but I didn't want to swipe on him because I saw him on Thursday or Friday and I said, oh, I can't swipe on him because I don't have time to chat with him because I'm be gone for the weekend. And so, which when I told Tin Man of how many people had swiped right on me, he goes, uh-uh, nope, you're mine this weekend. <laughs> I love it. But, um, but yeah, so I didn't want to swipe right on him because I didn't want to, you know, like, make him wait. Because, like I told you before, you must jump on it and meet as soon as possible after matching with someone. So I waited. 
So then as soon as I got home yesterday, I was like, Spray Break. And so we got to chat and he's not actually from Scotland originally. He is from uh, uh, the Bay Area, California. But uh, let me not t say any more because I'm droning on and on when I could be telling you this information if I go on a date with him coming up soon. All I know is he's just a big old teddy bear. Big old teddy bear. Huge. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm going to leave it at that and say that I had a great time reuniting with Tin Man and um, we'll probably see each other again at some point um, during my time here. It's possible. It's possible. Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and then hit the notification bell so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. And as always, thank you ladies and gents if you watch um, for coming along with me on my journeys abroad. And I love you guys. Bye!